Hello everyone, welcome back to Minifig Monday. This one is very boring. I will warn you right now, this is probably gonna be the most boring Minifig Monday you've ever seen. Not... It's actually a custom character. Um, this is called... He's called Mr. Generic. Uh, that's the name I gave him, because I... Nah, I'm not the most smartest when it comes to naming things. So... Yeah, that's him. And, um, he is great. Uh, he is a custom, like I said. And this is probably gonna be the most boring one because there's not much to talk about. It's what you see is what you get with this character. And this is probably gonna be one of the few characters that is not an official, like, Lego produced figure. So you won't see this in a set. That's why... It may look unfamiliar to some of you. Um, it's very boring, very bland, and very uninspired. Um, but there's a point to all this. I'll tell you that in a little bit. Um, yeah, there's not much of this guy. This Minifig Monday probably won't be very long because there's not much to talk about. There's not much to see. There's not really anything too exciting. But... Mr. Generic just happens to be the channel mascot, or at least the closest thing to it. You know Boba Fett and Sweet Mayhem are the main characters of the channel, but this guy is actually one of the main characters of the channel because, like I said, he's customized, and he's technically a mascot, too. Along with myself, of course. Zenith, my avatar. So, where does this guy come from? Well, I'll tell you that in a minute, but I will give you a 360 so you can see him in all of his lameness. Sorry for the lighting change. That's okay. Uh, yeah, you can see there's not much to this figure. It's very basic, um, but there's a point to this. So, my favorite collectible minifigure. I will bring him out here for just a brief moment. The Galactic Bounty Hunter. Uh, now, he comes from Series 19, but that's not important. What is important is this thing in his hand. This is a translucent red data pad, a digital wanted poster. And this says, built or broken, sorry, I'm shaking here. Um, reward 300 million. So basically, Mr. Generic is this guy on the poster. So this is who the bounty hunter is hunting. This is the bounty and yep here he is uh, i'm just going to show you that really briefly but yeah this is the bounty hunter we've already covered him in one of these videos but yeah here he is um he uh it, he's basically my version of this generic character that's on the poster so he's he's basically my version of the bounty uh because they never made the bounty figure um uh, which is fine He's so boring, anyway. And it it's almost like a joke from the Lego movie, the first one, where uh, Emmett was so generic that he looked like every other character in the city. Well, that's the, it's kind of a joke, too, as well, here. Because it's, it's just a boring figure. Like, oh my golly, is this boring. <laughs> but I did that on purpose. I actually wanted a super basic, boring, bland, generic minifigure to just be the the... You know, this character is going, this figure is actually going to be going forward. He's going to be like a test subject for the various sets that I review. It's going to be kind of fun to just put him randomly in different ships and stuff. But let's see, what, what, what detail does this character have? Well, not much. Uh, the only, I guess, notable thing is his dual molded arms. So his arms are red plastic at the top and then yellow at the bottom so it's like two different types of color plastic in there and that's what gives him the sleeve or the short sleeve look um it's like i said it's very boring i took the face from the benny space squad i had an extra one so i just threw it out on there and uh the shirt is a random shirt and the pants are random pants um basically this guy is just yellow red and blue Yep, that's his colors. It's very basic, dude. 
But why is he wanted by this bounty hunter? I have no idea why. He just looks so everyday. He looks so, you know, uh, basic and normal. I don't know what he did to deserve a bounty on his head for 300 million. But okay, I guess this guy's pretty bad to the bone, I guess you could say. Not really, it's, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what he did. But did something. Um, the the detail is very boring. It's just a red shirt with you know short sleeves, and you got these light blue pants, and yeah. And there's no alternate face because <laughs> this is back in the days when Lego did not do that. So back in the old days, um, he just has the one face. It's extremely basic. It's basically just the the basic Lego head that was for around for years and years. Until they finally changed it in the seven no the eighties I think is when they changed it. No accessories, no hairpiece, no fancy guns, no skirt, no uh, shoulder pad, none of that. It's just the dude, and that's what you get. And yeah, he's basically the channel mascot at this point. I mean, if you take him or leave him, he's there. He's a great figure, in my opinion. I'm glad to have him as a figure. He's probably going to be the only generic character that I have. But, you know, who knows? We might create another one down the line. But, yeah, like I said, there's not much to talk about. It's just the this, this guy, and, and that's it. Like, unlike... I think this is probably my, my least detailed minifigure. Definitely, because I have a lot of detailed figures. But I wanted to step away from that. And kind of just make a really generic, boring guy and see what a big what like see what kind of contrast it makes i don't know because if you put him up against uh one of our other channel mascot characters boba fett you can see that boba fett is extremely detailed because ah uh, because he's boba fett he's an icon yeah uh you can just see how much crap they put into this guy oh my word yeah that's boba fett for you folks um, I do not have Sweet Mayhem here with me. She is in her ship, and I'm too lazy to go get it. So we're not going to do that. Uh, but even Sweet Mayhem, as a mini doll, is more detailed than this guy. Anyone is more detailed than this minifigure, which is cool. And yeah, but this guy actually stands out because he is so boring that he's one of a kind. And there's no one that can replace him. So that's nice. And we also got to protect him from this bounty hunter, please. Hashtag protect the, the, the basic because we don't want this guy getting after him. So we're not going to have that happen. But that's the end of the video. Um, there's not much to talk about. Like I said, I told you this was going to be short because there's not much to say. It's just this guy and yeah. And that's it. That's it. So yeah. I might do a maybe a longer video talk. Actually, I think I might do a story time video talking about him. Maybe. That'll be kind of fun. But I hope you enjoyed this episode. Sorry if it was a little bit short, but I just wanted to get to the point. And it can, you know, it's what you see is what you get. So, yeah. <laughs> but stay tuned for the next Minifig Monday, which will be great. And it'll be a surprise. And, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one. And stay tuned for the next one. I will see you then. Take care. Have a great day.